Oh, hi, and me, I come here to pick up my research for my wife, um, Jane. Oh, hi, John. Can you have her day of birth? Um, it's January 1st, 1968, I believe. Okay, so January 1st, 68. Jane. Okay, let's start a So I'm so sorry, John. We got into prescription. They believe they couldn't spend the medication for her. Wait, I don't understand, like, why can't you feel it? I'm so sorry, John. Just because this is against my morals and beliefs. And I really want to help her, but it's just, I can't. So, what am I going to do now? Like, I come, like, I came here for the job, and then, nothing? Um, actually, we have another pharmacist. She can help you with that. But, unfortunately, she's on lunch right now. So she will be back soon and the medication can be ready for you in 30 minutes. Would you mind waiting a little bit? Are you sure she will be able to like feel the description for my wife? I think she can help you with that. Okay, I'll be back in 30 minutes. Bye. Okay, bye. Hey, Annie. Okay, Jessica. Uh, I have one patient, mm -hmm. uh, Jane Doe. Would you mind helping me with this patient? Because I couldn't explain this medication have like against my morals and beliefs. Okay, uh, Seco Barbital? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can do that for you. Okay. Uh, just, um, we'll go ahead and fill it, and then I'll give them a call when it's ready. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, hi, pharmacist. Um, I came here earlier to pick up the description for my wife, but it wasn't ready, and the pharmacist um, answered to come back. So, it's so for Jane, though. Oh, okay. um, what is her date of birth? Um, January 1st, 1968. Okay, um, just make sure. Okay, you said you're her husband. Yeah. Okay, um, do you mind if I just call her just to verify that you're able to pick up these prescriptions? No, no, no. Okay. Um, is your home phone number 555-124-7981? Uh, yeah. Oh, perfect. Uh, let me just give her a call. Give me one second. Hi, Jane. This is Jessica calling from Coco Pharmacy. Um, I just wanted to um, check with something about your two prescriptions that we have here at the pharmacy. Yes. yes. Um, so is it okay if your husband here picks them up for you? Okay. Okay, thank you. I'll let him know. Okay, yeah, so we can release these two. Um, but before that, I just wanted to go over a couple of things for the two medications. Okay, that's fine. Okay, um, so here we have uh, metoclopramide and then cecobarbital. Um, just beforehand, does your wife have any, any allergies or um, any other medications she's currently taking? So she doesn't have any like allergy that I'm aware of, but then she's like she's taking a bunch of like medication for cancer. That's okay, okay. Um, yeah. So current turn file, everything should be good. Um, what did the doctor say about these two medications? So basically, we'll have her with her suffering, who and at all. Okay. Um, so medical bromide is going to help prevent the nausea that your wife might feel after taking cecobarbital. And then secret barbital is the one that's gonna help end her suffering. Um, what did the doctor say about how you're, how she's gonna take this medication? So I remember told her about like mixing with some fluid, like some liquid, and then drink it all at once. Okay, yeah. So for the medical bromide, you're gonna take first. You take it with a little glass of water, and then as far as the secret barbital, you're gonna take it one hour after. Um, and then as far as the fluids that you're going to take it with, it might have a bitter taste, so I would suggest um, like some kind of juice to help with the bitterness. Um, also, for storage, so cecobarmital obviously is a dangerous drug, so I would advise keeping it um, somewhere where you'll remember where it is and out of other people's reach. Um, and what did the doctor talk about expecting from these two medications? That I can't remember. Okay, uh, so medical provides can help with the nausea, um, and then Cicobarbital, when she takes it, she's going to feel a little dizzy or sleepy, um, no worries, but just have her lay down, relax, um, and eventually she'll go into somewhat of a deep sleep. Um, but obviously, if she ends up waking up after that, 
that means the medication did not work properly. So go ahead and uh, contact us and we'll make sure to take care of that. Okay. Um, did you have any other questions so far? No, no, no. Okay, uh, just make sure that she takes the, these two medications at home, obviously not in public, um, and then let us know after she's taking it. Okay, okay. Um, just to make sure I covered everything. Do you mind repeating that back to me? So, um, there's two medications, right? Mm -hmm. So, the big one, the medical thing, you take it one hour before yes. the real thing, and the real thing will have her with, you know. And then I can mix the real thing with um, like any liquid fluid that she likes. And then it will arrive, basically. Yeah, um, yeah, so let just make sure. Um, Obviously, if she does end up changing her mind, um, let us know um, as soon as possible. And if you, either of you have any other questions, go ahead and contact us. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Um, so I'll give this to you, um, but go ahead and uh, yeah, just let us know if you need help. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Hello. How are you doing? Hi. I'm okay. Did anything? Yes, actually, I want to talk to the pharmacist from yesterday. Okay, I'll give her a call. Thank you. Here you are. Hi, this is Jessica at the pharmacy. How can I help you? Hi, this is Jane. My husband came in yesterday to pick up an end of life drug for me. Oh, okay, can I have your date of birth and last name? Yes, it's January 1st, 1968. Last name is Doe. Okay, uh, which prescription did you um, have a question about? It's a Cicobarbital. I was wondering if I could take it with anything to make it taste better. Uh, yes, so I would suggest take, uh, taking it with uh, some kind of juice, either apple or orange, doesn't really matter, um, but either one should be able to mask the taste. Okay. Um, did you have any other questions? No, that's it. Okay, um, I just want to make sure, I know you probably have thought about this a lot, um, but I just want to make sure that you know what you're getting yourself into and that you're really sure. Yes, I've given a lot of thought and people have told me so much about it, but I still definitely want to go through with it. Okay, sounds good. Um, just feel free to contest, contact us at the pharmacy if you have any questions. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Uh, I finished the phone call. So how was the talk with the pharmacist? It was good. I got all my questions answered. Um, by the way, when you were talking with the pharmacist, your uh, sister came. Bye. Really? Yeah. Oh, where is she? Um, she's here. I'm going to go with her. Okay. Hi, Chan. So glad you're here. Yeah. So I'll give you guys a moment for your two sisters. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, I come here as fast as I can. Is everything all in okay today? Yes. I finally feel peace of mind. You know what? I just want to let you know that I will support you no matter what, and I will be here with you. Thank you. That means so much. I love you, my sister. I love you too. <laughs> I miss those memory. Me too. Julia, I think I'm ready. Can you please check on John? Make sure he's making it right. At apple juice, right? You remember? Yeah, I remember. I get him for you. Thank you. I love do you take. The Nasa Med ready? Yes, I took it about an hour ago. Are you ready? I am. Do you know I always love you, right? Of course, I love you too. Even with the apple juice, it tastes awful. But I guess there are worse things.